you know, white is something that a lot of us rely on, um, but it's actually difficult to pick the right white because there are so you many. You are not joking. Benjamin Moore <laughs> alone has over 150 whites. So just wow. think about that. Look at them. And when you see them on screen, you think, oh, those aren't white. There's, there's, there's creams, there's pinks, there's blues. Yeah. But that's what makes it so complicated. But that's also why we need so many because everybody wants that clean, bright space. And that's why they go to white. But then they have a hard time choosing it because there yes. isn't just one size fits all no. with white paint. That's why we call you, Sharon. Right? <laughs> Help me. And then you say to us, okay, you've got to think about the light situation as well because that's going to change the look yes. of whatever white that you choose. You have been watching City Line, yes, my friend. Have. You have been paying attention. Yes, I have. Light is critical, especially when it comes to paint color and white yeah. specifically. But I've got a really wonderful um, slide that I use when I'm doing presentations to show how dramatically different the same color will look at different times of the day. Yeah. So artificial light at night, direct sunlight during the day, overcast. Mm. So all of that's going to affect your color, color, whether it's pink or pale blue or, or white, especially because white is like that blank canvas. So, that's right. So we want to talk about what a light. And then the other thing that also causes a lot of problems when you're choosing it is because white has undertones. Yeah. And then everything else in the room has color and texture, and that's going to impact the color on the wall as well. So Right. So we're going to talk a little bit about what you need to, what you can play with when it comes to white, right. whether it be a warm or a cool or what have you. And you've got and a great critical. example here yeah so what I did was I took nine popular Benjamin Moore whites yeah. and categorized them so I've got cool I've got warm and I've got neutral and take it with a grain of salt I've generalized it to, to really make the point yeah but when you um, let's start with the cool yep so the cool colors we've got paper white I've got ice mist I've got chalk white what makes those cool every paint even white has other pigments in it right so with the cool ones they tend to have a little bit more black like paper white has quite a bit more black in in the pig in the formulation mm -hmm. sometimes like ice mist there's a little bit of green it feels a little bit green depending on what you put it with and then chalk white almost feels a little bit blue yes so sometimes it isn't blue in it it just yes. feels that way so let's take a look at what it looks like in a room setting because that's where you really get the feel so when you see paper white on the wall um, in this beautiful room it's paired with ice mist as a trim so you're combining two cooler Cools. whites okay. so it feels very fresh it feels very clean people think of gray whites as being more contemporary but in this case it's very classic because of the furniture it so, really is and when else would you use it maybe when you've got color in your room that's more cool so if i okay. grabbed a you know blue sofa or blue bedding you might want to go with cooler cool. whites yeah. that kind of work with that it just harmonizes okay so in general you want to keep your cools together but let's go over to the warm okay so let's look at the warm because a lot of us assume well it's white it's gonna there there is gonna be something a little sterile about it right. not so much if you get a warm white absolutely when you go with the warm colors they have a little bit more oxide yellow sometimes mm -hmm. in the in as a pigmentation or a little bit of red so that yeah. adds that warm sometimes you think it looks a bit pinky it's because it's got a little bit more red so yeah. in this case we've got white down which funny enough when I saw this yesterday I was like wow it really looks beige and I've used this as a white in so many instances for yes. trim. White down, cloud white, which of course is like the, very popular. one of our favorites. Yeah. <laughs> and mascarpone. So again, very nice. warm. Let's want to look at it in that room yeah. where you would use those warm colors. It's when you've got beautiful warm textiles like the reds and the ochres. Mm. Um, warm leathers, which are very popular again right now, right? So yes. that's where you'd want to use your warmer whites, whether it's for the trim or, or, or the walls, like definitely right. the walls. Okay, so what are we thinking of in terms of fabrics that are going to go with this? You definitely want want to have when you've got something warmer. So if you look at something like this, Tracy, you might think, oh, it's kind of off-white, but when you put it next, you can see all the color in it. Yeah. So, but when you put it next to the wall, white down, uh, yes, white down, yeah. you can see, oh, it really, it harmonizes. It does. So it kind of calms things down. So your fabric, even these are like brand new, beautiful IKEA fabrics, but yeah. if it's older and dated, you can really get a sense of that. And with nice. that white, that one's going to be interesting. Can you pass that to me? Because I'm going to make a really good point when I talk about the neutral whites with okay. this fabric. So when you get into the neutral whites, what do you think of when you look at this, Trace? It's to me, that looks like white white. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. These are the brightest whites. Chantilly it's lace bright. is one. If I'm looking for a bright white, that's my go-to. Chantilly mm -hmm. lace. Simply white, I'm also calling in, uh, putting it into the neutral category. And white dove, even though it's a little darker in a sense, yeah. it's a little more saturated, it's still quite neutral because if you look at it, it works with the white down. So it, it can does. go and work with the warmer tones. Mm -hmm. And then it can also work 
with the cooler tones. Oh. Okay, so it's that's what I mean by neutral. It still okay. has a little bit of gray in it, still yeah. has a little bit of yellow, but you get that sense. Now, when you look at Simply White in the photograph, yeah. it feels very contemporary, very again, very, very fresh. It looks great with the graphic pops of black and white mm -hmm. and even some stronger colors, like that hit of red, orange. So you want to use these brighter whites when you're looking for a lot of contrast. Right. Right? So that's that's when you want to use those. Do you want now, to show the fabric? I want to that? show this fabric against it because this is where everybody goes wrong. They yeah. see, you know, Brian Gluckstein's beautiful white space and they think, I'm going to emulate that with my white furniture. Yeah. Guess what? Unless you look at it in your house, your furniture might not actually be white. You think it's bright white. Right. It's not. So you want to be careful. That's why I always say bring your chips home. Bring samples that's home. That's right. So you can look at the light, look at it with your furniture, and then maybe a warmer white is actually oh, what you way need better. to get because that Because actually, look, right? if you put it with the wrong white, it looks dirty. Exactly. Nobody wants you that. You don't want that. That doesn't look like Brian <laughs> Cluxies anymore. 